hello, baseball fans. I thought I'd talk to you about a subject that we all watch, watch and witness every day, and that's the hitting of a baseball. The technology in baseball bats. Do you know that this is a probably one of the most developed areas in baseball? We've gone from high-performance bats at the lower levels of baseball, which in our metal bat system that they've created has allowed baseballs to come back at an individual at incredible speeds, really dangerous speeds. So as they continue to Easton, bomb bats, um, what else? Marucci, all these different type of bat manufacturers had escalated and elevated the bat at such a, a, a rate that would either cripple the game or make the game better. Young adults, children, the amount of money that's spent on bats right now is incredible. If you're talking about just the average bat for a little league, ranging anywhere from $150 to $600 in the metal bat range, in the wood bat, we're talking the same price. I wish that all of baseball would just deal with wood bats because eventually that's what it's going to come to anyway. If you make it to the ultimate level MLB baseball, you got to drop that metal and you got to put some wood in your hand. And as you are progressing up through the high school level, when you get to your summer and some of your spring tournaments, that's all that's available is wood bat tournaments because they want to see how you swing the bat with next level uh, ability and power. So you find people who, and I don't care what, how much technology we put into hitting and batting, there's always somebody, some parent, looking for an edge to give his son or daughter that is illegal. I don't understand that. I mean, what are we teaching kids when we say, listen, I'm going to cork a bat, I'm going to open up a metal bat, and I'm going to hollow it out and make sure that it's lighter for you to swing so the ball jumps off the bat, whether it's softball or baseball. It still comes back to character. It, this, everything that we've talked about over the last few weeks have been about character. So in baseball, with the manufacturers, with the parents, what are we teaching and how are we teaching kids that skills matter? Not cheating. But I'm glad they've determined over the last few months or last year or so, they redesigned the metal bat in a way that it has deadened and dampened down the power that comes off the bat because as close as the mounds are with the pitching, or, and as big as these kids are getting nowadays, my goodness, kids are growing at an astronomical rate in size and height. And so that ball is coming off at some speeds that are dangerous. But manufacturers have recognized that. And so have some of the high school federations. And they've said, look, this is the, these, this is the criteria for the best that we're going to use. And they've done a good job of making sure that they've kind of met a, had a standard that meets a safe uh, uh, situation for kids nowadays. But I'm going to say, one day I'm going to give you what I feel are my best bats to use for Little League Baseball and High School Baseball. And see, if, you know, what your comparisons are and we can, you know, debate over who has the better bat and what's the most efficient tool to use. Although I do, do think that it comes down to, one, the type of hitter you are, the size of the person that's hitting, and the skill that's involved with the person that's hitting as to which bat is a better performing bat. Because they're all really, really good. But you have power hitters. You have hitters that are gap hitters. You have hitters that are you know, good line ball hitters line drive hitters. So, you know, I think that that comes to, uh, you know, has to deal with 
what type of hitter you are, what's the best and the most efficient bat for you. But the technology out there is incredible. So do your research, do as much homework as you can, swing as many different type bats as you can, and find out what's the best bat for you. And use it and stick with it. Stop jumping from here to there, there to here. You see kids go to the park on their teams. Their mom and dad spend all this money on this bat. Next thing you know, they're picking up their teammates' bat. Oh, I like this bat bat. Well, you haven't swung yours enough to know if you like it or not. If it's going to be efficient for you and the type of hitter you are. Choose the bat based on your, on your physical capabilities. Don't worry about what your buddy's swinging, whether it's softball or baseball. Get the bat that's designed for you. And you'll probably find out you're much better hit it with the tool that you purchase on your own rather than using your buddies. All right, that's technology and baseball for today. Do your best, find your own tool to use and swing it. Practice, 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 practice. Bring out the best in you.